Hello friends. In this video, I wanted to share some tips on training our brain to be grateful every single day. This is November, and of course, that's a time when we are more grateful, but what if we do that every single day of our life? I promise it will change how you view yourself and how you view the world, because what do you really want? That sense of wellness, that peace, to find joy in the journey, to have less stress, to just have that satisfaction and that fulfillment. And gratitude is a huge part of this. Our brain finds evidence for what we're thinking. Let's train this brain of ours to look for the good. I'm Wendelin Davis. I'm a wellness warrior, and I love sharing tips that have changed my life that I want to share with you so that you can have this opportunity to find the good in you to love yourself where you are, and to have connection with your family and friends, to desire that food that will nourish your body because that makes a difference in our mood and everything else too. I'm so passionate about ingredients and sleep and water and exercise, all those wellness things. So what are you doing to train your brain to be grateful? Sometimes in the rush of life, we're not taking time to see what's really good because life happens to us and we're on autopilot. And when we're on autopilot, we may be self-destructing. We may be automatically doing things that are not serving our best interest. So again, it's learning to break that pattern, remembering that there's always two roads. And what is it that you really want? What is that end result that you want? And I, for so many years, wanted that peace and that joy and just to to feel better inside because anxiety is not fun, neither is depression. So gratitude is one of the things that helped me so much. And for part of it, it's like, what am I grateful for about myself? Because for so many years, I'm doing everything wrong. I'm beating myself up. And then even and part of my marriage where my brain was finding all the things wrong with my husband. So it was probably four years ago where I'm like, hey, Wendelin, what if you just for 30 days wrote about things you were grateful for about him? And I made myself pick different things. And I wrote three or four things every single night. And it wasn't long before I was just like, wow, this man's amazing. And I was missing it because I was on that negative road. My brain was finding evidence for everything wrong. And I was also going down a rabbit hole and a whole bunch of other things, right? So we got to take care of ourselves. So investing time to find gratitude and joy in the journey is one of the pieces of the puzzle that will change your life. So it's simple. It really is. A, a notebook doesn't even have to say daily gratitude journal. One of my friends gave this to me. And so every night I write about something I'm grateful for. And if you're having a hard time loving yourself, then write about things that you're grateful for about you to train your brain that you are good. You have everything you need inside of you to become the version of you that you need. And so start writing about things that your body does that you do like. Hey, I can see good. My ears work great. My legs walk. Let's not beat ourselves up because we're overweight or because we didn't feel good enough or whatever it is. Start noticing the good about yourself. So that's one of my challenges to you. Write what you're grateful for about yourself, three or four things. And then let's say you're having a really hard time learning to like your job or learning to have connection with somebody in a relationship. What if you started writing about what you were grateful for about that person or about your job? And it's going to train your brain to start looking for the good because there's good in every situation. We just have to look for it because sometimes it's really hard to find. Okay. And then for fun, there's so many cards now that are 99 cents because who wants to pay $6 and $7 for a card? Mm, not me. So I found these at Target and I may have bought too many, but that's okay. So just like sending sunshine and smiles. So yes, I love to mail cards to people. And yeah, isn't that cute? Just a note to brighten your day. And so there's so many fun cards. Send a card to somebody to cheer and brighten their day because it's a win-win. 
you feel good and they feel amazing that you just notice and recognize them. There's just some fun things to do. It's just one thing at a time, my friends, as we establish wellness in our life, as we create healthy habits, as we train this brain of ours. So take time to be grateful every single day. As we celebrate Thanksgiving this month and all that we're grateful for, remember that this can be just a part of your daily routine. And it really does train your brain. Even throughout the day, it's like noticing the good in the tough situations. When we're stressed, we can just stop for a minute and deep breathe. And it's like, wait, what's good? And like, let's say you've had a really bad day and you're beating yourself up. You could interrupt that pattern by instead writing about what you did do. You have a choice, my friends, in how you view life, positive or negative, good or bad. You can find all the things wrong with it, or you can stop and train your brain to look for what is working for you, what you do have in your favor, and to train your brain that life is happening for you and not to you. Yes, my friends, it feels so good to wake up each day just looking for the good that's so around us in abundance. And that's what it does. It creates more abundance instead of scarcity when we celebrate the good. You totally got this wherever you are. So much to celebrate about you. So much to be grateful for every single day. Be sure and like and subscribe and share with your friends and check out my new webpage, wellnesswithwendelin.com. And there's a place where you can sign up for a free consult. So if you want coaching on weight loss, time management, stress management, just finding that wellness, that balance in your life, that peace, that joy, whatever is hard for you to help give you tools to overcome that, I'm there for you. Happy Thanksgiving, happy November, and let's celebrate you. All right, bye.